Hello all, welcome back. Mathematics is a science that deals with the logic of shape, quantity and arrangement. We can see mathematics all around us and in everything we do. We can say that mathematics is an art or we can learn an art through mathematics. Are you surprised? Don't be. Today, we are going to learn mathematics through art and an art through mathematics. Yes, I am talking about Varli art. I can assure you will be surprised to see the finished product that we make with the help of mathematics. So, stay tuned. This art uses a set of geometric shapes, circles, triangles, squares, etc. Now, to make our painting, we need some triangles. This is a random cutout of a triangle. For our art, we need to make more triangles of same size and shape. So, this is our today's puzzle. With the help of mathematics, we can learn some interesting methods to create triangles of same size and shape. First, we can trace the triangle with the help of this cutout so that we get a triangle with same size and shape. If we place this cutout on this triangle, we can see that they are exactly matching. Such triangles are called congruent triangles. Here, our problem is to make some congruent triangles. But there is no fun in tracing it like this, isn't that? So, we can see different methods to make congruent triangles. First, we measure the sides of the triangle. We got it as 6 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. Now, draw a line of any of these length. I am drawing a line of 5 cm. We want the other two sides as 6 cm and 4 cm. To get the other side, we mark an arc of length 4 cm using compass. Now, we used two measurements to draw this triangle. We can check whether it is enough to draw this triangle. I draw a line from one vertex to this arc. It will be 4 cm long. So, Two measurements of the triangle are correct. But if we join the other side, we are getting it as 5.5 cm. It's another triangle. We can draw another line for 4 cm. But the other side is coming as 4.5 cm. So with these two sides, 5 cm and 4 cm, we can have many triangles. From this, we can conclude that two measurements are not enough to draw a unique triangle that we want. So, we take the third measurement also and draw an arc with 6 cm radius, which meets the other arc. Now we join the lines. So we got two triangles. We can check whether they are congruent. Look, they are exact copy of each other. So we have learned two concepts. For the second method, we take any one of these sides. Let's draw 6 cm. To draw a triangle, we need at least 3 measurements. One is the side of 6 cm. As the other measurement, we can take an angle. We use protractor to measure the angle at this vertex. We coincide the origin with the vertex and we got the measurement of the angle as 55 degrees.
now we mark the same measurement on our 6 cm line and draw a line. Now we got two measurements, one side and one angle. The third measurement can be taken as the 4 cm side. We mark 4 cm on the line drawn and we can complete our triangle by joining these two points. Isn't that interesting? We didn't need the third side at all. When we measure the side, we are getting it as exactly 5 cm and our two triangles are congruent. Here is the new concept that we have learned. Now for the third method, we draw a line of 4 cm and we take the angle measurements of two ends. One is 55 degrees and we mark it here. As a third measurement, we take the angle at the other end of this side. When we measure it, we got it as 85 degrees. So we mark the same measurement on this side of the line and join it with a straight line. Now let's check whether our triangle is ready. Yes, it is and it is exactly the same. Here is the interesting concept that we have learned. Now, all our congruent triangles are ready. I have cut this out from a black chart paper. For our Marley painting, I need some smaller triangle like this. Do you know what I did? I measured exactly half of each side of the bigger triangle so that each side of the smaller triangle is exactly half of the bigger one. So our small triangle is of same shape but different size. That is their angles are equal but sides are proportional. Such triangles are called similar triangles. To get the side of the smaller triangle, I joined the midpoints of two sides of bigger triangle. Now the line segment connecting the midpoint is parallel to the third side and is half the length of the third side. Hey, this is our midpoint theorem. Now that we got all our triangles ready, we start making our Varli painting. First, we will stick all these triangles on a white chart paper as shown. Varli painting is a form of tribal art created by tribal people in Maharashtra. Varli culture is centered on the concept of mother nature and elements of nature are often focal points depicted in Varli painting. These paintings use a set of basic geometric shapes, circle, triangle, square, etc. Circle represents sun and moon, while triangle depicts mountains and conical trees. Square represents piece of land. So we have finished sticking all our triangles. You may be wondering what type of painting is this? Wait and watch.